In MLB The Show, we all love to open packs. So what could be better than free packs? I know, unlimited free packs. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. How to get unlimited packs in MLB The Show 24. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. We all strive to eat healthier. But sometimes that can be difficult. The time spent writing grocery lists, meal planning, shopping, and looking up recipes is very time consuming. But HelloFresh works to alleviate all of that. They do all the work for you so you can have the time to focus on your goals. I love the customization of the meal plans. You can easily find meals that fit your dietary needs. And you can also set how many meals and servings you're gonna receive. Recipes are constantly rotating each and every week to highlight what's currently fresh and in season. This week, I selected the crispy buffalo spice chicken and it was fantastic all made simple with an easy to follow recipe guide. If you're ready to level up your meal times, you can use my code POGHF132035 or follow the link in the description and you'll receive 16 free meals and free dessert for life while subscribed. A pretty sweet deal. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring the video. So this little haul right here, all for free, all took, uh, Less than an hour, minus the jumbo pack. That was from something else. But we'll open it all the same. Just pretend, right? But Ballin' is a habit packs, the show packs, all for free and unlimited. I'll show you how. First off, you got to go to our favorite game mode, that being mini seasons. And for this particular method, we're talking about the team affinity season. That's where there's going to be some pretty good stuff. Of course, if you actually play out the mini seasons, you're going to get vouchers for team affinity. You're going to get a couple more things, but we're not doing all that. At least not here today. You look at Boss Knox, tally 40 hits with any batters from team affinity season one program. So the prerequisite to doing this, of course, is get progress done on Team Affinity so you have enough batters to flesh out your team. And you notice 40 hits, you get 10 to show packs, which 40 hits at face value might seem like that's going to take a little bit of time, but not really. It really doesn't have to because, again, so long as you are the home team in many seasons, you can play at these teeny tiny ballparks. 270 feet to the corners, max elevation. <laughs> you could almost sneeze on the baseball and it's gonna be a home run. Now, how do you get these stadiums? Pretty simple. I have had issues uploading my own blank canvas. The stadium creator vault just not really working properly this year, go figure. But if you go up and search blank canvas into the search tab, you'll find a variety of blank canvas stadiums at max elevation, some of which you can still play online if you so choose. Any of those should work. Just make sure it's max elevation and just look for the extremely small ballpark constraints. But of course, you have to be the home team. You notice right here we are on the left which means we're gonna be away. Very simple, very easy, you just back out, you hold down X on PlayStation, whatever button on Xbox. I don't know if the Switch even works yet for MLB The Show, so maybe you guys can't do it quite yet, but then you go back in, and now we're on the right side of history. We're the home team and we can pick that ballpark. And once again, if you are not on the next generation of consoles, there are some great stadiums to pick, Laughing Mountain Park. It is bigger. It's kind of like the minor league answer to Coors Field. It's max elevation. You're going to hit a lot of offense right there, a lot of home runs. Also, Shield Woods Park. It has a big fence in right field, but balls fly here. So if you're on last gen, if you don't have the stadium creator, these are great choices. And when it comes to the difficulty, that is, well, a difficult question because there are a couple things that you can choose from. We talked about the boss knocks, which gets you 10 to show packs for 40 hits. My estimation from playing so far takes about two games. It just power swing and watch as the scoreboard operator hates his job as you run up the count. In doing that mission, you're also gonna get this done. Total base king, tally 60 total bases with any players, which that gives you a ball in as a habit pack. But the caveat is right here, the clutch gene. In a single season, hit 15 home runs with any players. 
while playing on all-star difficulty to earn three ballin is a habit packs so that's where it gets interesting do you want to go on cruise control go on rookie difficulty and get 10 packs 10 standards and a ballin is a habit pack or you could swing for the fences on a bit of a higher difficulty and you could get four ballin as a habit packs and that 10 standards it's up to you i've done this it's really not that hard on all-star difficulty again in that case i would strongly recommend pick whichever pitcher you want to actually use and have him be the lowest overall on your team that means you're gonna face the other team's lowest overall pitcher and it should be a bit easier. Either way, you hop into the game and you score. I hate you try and get as many runs as possible. It's a very simple concept. Of course, as the home team, if you smash the CPU, you're only gonna get two ups. But for this practice, winning the game doesn't really matter. So if you're beating the CPU in the top of the third, you might as well let them score a lot of runs so you have that bottom half of the inning to bat. Maximize your opportunities to put up as many runs as humanly possible. And then you're left with this. You're left with a pretty good yield. You get some packs, which is the fun part or the depressing part. I suppose it really depends on uh, just what goes your way. Again, as I mentioned before, I would highly suggest Probably don't sell a bunch of stuff if you do pull high diamonds. I wouldn't sell them yet. There was a pretty big market crash the other day with the vault pack coming into the store. And I just think that live series is really going to get boosted once the possibility for supercharges comes into play as well as inside edge, which is going to affect cards daily. I mean, you think of a Fernando Tatis Jr. whose offensive attributes are a bit lower a diamond oh gee golly oh wow old miami somehow if it's even possible old miami looks more modern than new miami make that make sense but yeah that would be my game plan i got acuna the other day from battle royale i'm not gonna sell him not yet i'm gonna wait until opening day until the games begin prices should begin to rise once more so that is my thought process let me know in the comment section if you guys get any big pulls from these packs and again uh hey guys i, I got a big pull from these packs uh a diamond okay all right all right ah and when diaz okay okay calm down don't flex. Uh, what do you, you go for like 9K? That's not a flex. If I posted this on Twitter, I get laughed at. Solid, decent little pull. I can't be too upset. Again, I didn't spend that much time on this. And there we go. There's a diamond. So you see the thought process. This can work out for you. Results will vary. But who knows? I mean, we have those ball in as a habit packs, which supposedly have good odds. Like that's what they've said for years. I've disagreed for years. I am currently working on a class action lawsuit because I think oh, we get another one of these. Wow, look at that. I've noticed there's a lot of these season cards that don't go for a lot in packs. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's see if these ball in as a habit. If there's anything good going to go my way, uh, yes, there is. What do you know? You record a video, you get good pulls. Ah, damn it. Another purple. Only time, uh, Pete Alonzo. Okay, we can finish the whole Mets collection. <laughs> We're just missing Lindor. I can't complain. Uh, I will not complain. I went, I don't know, 100 plus packs without pulling a diamond. You're not going to hear one gripe from me. Not one gripe. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good. They're not over yet. We get Xander Bogarts. Anthony Rizzo, is it silver? It's a little disrespectful. Little disrespectful for Anthony Rizzo. Couple more golds, Patrick Corbin. That's uh, sugarcoating the hell out of his overall. 68, that uh, should be more like a 38. Reveal all. Oh, baby. Oh my God, did we get two? That'd be wild. How many cards are in a jump? Oh, we get Pablo Lopez. Let's see. Eyes on the prize. Where is it? Damn it. That's Tatis. Again. Ah, I'll take that. There's only one man with those kind of dreads. And you know, he goes for about 20K. So yeah, I would highly suggest to go and play mini seasons. Let me know what you guys plan on doing 
if you want to go the easier route with just the 40 hits, or if you do want to go for the big one, the ballin' is a habit, three pack in the clutch gene mission, you can't go wrong. It's free unlimited packs either way. You just get to choose your path. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and thank you for watching.